Council, Council move you over to our vacancies on boards, boards commissions, commissions, and authorities. Is your, your blue, blue section, section of your packet. Mayor, I'd Mr. like to Mayor, make anything this evening. Well, I'd like to make a motion too, Mayor. You there? Yeah, I'm, I've been short being able to get to see some of those. Can we just make a motion to approve all the nominations in one case and then vote on them the next time? We have to still vote on them, correct? Absolutely all. not. To okay. the individual. Well, Mr. 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 Coach, Coach your, what, what is your motion? Motion is to move forward with all of these folks in nomination and vote on them for the next time. No. Well, uh, Absolutely not. Well, there's a, well, there's a, Mr. Poach is making a motion. I'll second it. And a, a second. second. Now, now comment. comment. Tom. I have a comment. Go ahead, Mr. Mr. Wilson. I think the people in Monroeville are entitled to know who the representatives are for the Library Board, Parks and Rec, Zoning Hearing Board, uh, let's see, uh, also the Municipal Authority, the flood control. So I, I'll be happy to read their names for the library board and we can go forward with that. Well, we have, we have a motion, motion to second. second. So, so Mr. Mr. Coach, if you could just clarify, are you just talking, talking about, about the nominations? nominations? There, we, we have one, one that looks, looks like, like one, one for an appointment. appointment. You're just, You're just saying, saying the nominations? nominations? The nominations, yeah. As All the nominations. Yeah. Except and, then, and we vote on the clearing in the next in, in our next group. And then the yes, next appointment. Greg, the appointments would be in January. January. Yes. Stand down, Greg. Greg. Mr. Mr. Arzinko. Okay. I think what Eric and I are saying is, is that all the nominations just put them up and approve them. And to answer your question, Tom, it will then will. I didn't ask you a question, Greg. I'm sorry. I didn't ask you a question. No, I'm trying to give you an answer why I voted the way I did. Take off the screen. Greg, don't, don't even talk to me about that. All right. All right thank you. Gentlemen, if we could just uh, stick you with the subject thing, I'll do my thing. Does anyone have any comments, comments about the motion? About the trader, Greg, it's unbelievable. Mr. Mr. Williams. Mr. Williams. How about the nominations? It wasn't made yet. Well, well the, the motion, motion in the second, second is just for the appointments. I'm sorry, sorry it's just for the nominations. nominations. Right. That are already been made. No. no. Not for the one that is already nominated. It's a blanket nomination. It's a, separate. It's a blanket nomination. Mayor, we it's did this last year in December. Yes, and I got screwed on it. Well, you guys okay. put Betsy on the water authority. That's All right. Well, okay, Mr. 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 Wilson, you made your point. And I, I'm going to take a roll call vote, please. So this the, the vote, if you vote in the affirmative, what you're voting on is to say that all of the individuals that are listed for nominations are to be approved. They aren't going to be appointed to these boards. They're just going to be nominated for the boards. And any appointments would have to take place at another council meeting. Mayor, question. Shouldn't the... Uh, uh, in that each of those wards, the council person in each of those wards read off the names to let people know who's going to run. So, for example, in Eric's ward, McDaniel. Okay, you, you have Dennis. Yeah. And in Ward Three, Ron, who do you have? Well, how about this, Mr. Mr. Wilson? Wilson? Maybe this will satisfy oh, what you're trying, what you're addressing, you're addressing here. There's no reason to rush through this. I'll, I'll read, read them into the record. This is what we're voting on. The, for the library, library board, these are only for nominations. Dennis McDaniel, Ward 2. two. Mary Mc Frances Thorne. Emily, Emily Hoffman. Hoffman. And then for the Recreation, Recreation Park Parks Advisory Board, Tracy, Tracy Coach, Coach. And Michael Gatos. For the, for the Zoning, Zoning Hearing Board, Gary, Gary Grisiak, Grisiak, Michael, Michael Gatos, Andy Wilkins. Wilkins. Planning Commission. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Where are we, Mayor? What's, what's, where are I'm we? Just, I'm just reading through the list of the potential, potential nominations. nominations. Right. So, so don't we have to approve these people that are going to be... The motion's on the table to do that. Yeah, yeah the, 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 
Mr. Wilson, the motion's on, it's on the table currently to consider. Yeah, is, yeah you're giving me, we, I'm hearing feedback. I'm sorry, go ahead. The, the motion, motion on, on the floor, floor and the second, second is, is to nominate all of the names that I'm reading off. And I think we just had them up on the screen um, a moment ago. No. They will not be appointed to the boards. All we're saying is they're nominated and then these names will be considered for the next meeting. Thank you very much. So for my wait, sure. wait a minute. I, I have I have a person that we nominated back in November. Yes, Mr. Wilson. Mr. Wilson, if you could I'll I'll come back to that in a moment. We'll make sure that that individual is appointed. That's not what we're considering right now. Okay. We're just considering the nomination. information. And if I could just finish my what I'm reading here, uh, Dan Gearhart for the Planning Commission. And if you could scroll, yep, there you go. Pollution Control and Flood Reduction Board of Appeals, Ed Deal. For the Monroeville Municipal Authority, Nancy Harvey. For the Convention Visitors Bureau of Greater Pittsburgh, Ryan Witt of UPMC East. Oh, I'm sorry. The, it, it is of Monroeville. Sorry. The Convention Visitors Bureau of Greater Monroeville is Ryan Witt. And that is all. So the motion and the second is to nominate all of those names. Is there a roll call vote, please? Okay. Mrs. Gale. Uh, Aye. Williams wants to have something to say. For the information first. The Zoning Hearing Board. Who's leaving there to appoint somebody else? You got three people on that board now. Well, yes, keep in mind, we're not appointing anybody right now. This is only to nominate them. So if there is a vacancy in January, we would appoint whatever seats are vacant. I see some, I see some names I'm very familiar with up for the zoning hearing board. If we can continue with the roll call vote, we have a motion and a second to approve all the nominations. But this, once again, to be clear, this is not to appoint anybody at this time. I want a roll call vote, Mayor. We're in the middle. So, Chair, let's start from the top. Okay. Again. Thank Mr. you. Mrs. Gatos. Aye. Mr. Poach. Aye. Mr. Harvey. Aye. Mr. Wolfram. Aye. Mr. Osinko. Aye. Mr. Williams. No. Mr. Wilson. No. The ayes have it. Mr. Wilson, you had someone in the seventh ward. Yes, I have uh, Kelly, Fennessy, Meredith in the seventh ward. And uh, she is going to fill an unexpected, unexpired term uh, from uh, January 2020 to December 2022. Uh, we nominated uh, Kelly back in uh, November, and uh, Kelly is a great candidate. She also works with uh, Sean Logan, and uh, she's an employee of Sean Logan with the Chamber of Commerce. And Kelly's young, and she, she's going to contribute a lot to our uh, library board. So you're making so you're making a, motion a motion to appoint her. her. I have a motion to, to approve. To appoint, to appoint her. her. Sorry? You that your your motion, motion is to appoint her. her. Yes. 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 Is, there is there a second? Second. second. Roll, Roll call, call please. please. Mr. Wilson? Aye. Mr. Williams? Aye. Mr. Rosenko? Aye. Mr. Wolfram? Aye. Mr. Harvey? Aye. Mr. Poach? Aye. Mrs. Gatos? Aye. The you guys have it. it. Does anyone on council have any other appointments at this time? Yes. Mr. Williams. Yes, I, I have a, a nomination of uh, Emily L. Hoffman to the library board. We actually covered her with that first, our first motion. So she's already been, she's already been nominated. Who nominated her? That's, she was grouped in to the initial uh, motion that Mr. Poach made. That's. But, but she was never nominated. No, I'm sorry. So the. When Mr. Coach made his motion, and Mr. Cinco second, and what we voted on was to nominate this entire list. She she was never nominated, is what I'm saying. Right. We just did it a moment ago. Why can't our councilman nominate her? The what? 
She's already, she's already nominated. Why, why you can't nominate her, Bob? They're not letting you nominate her. This is this is a six word appointment for the library. Yes. Right. Correct. I don't know how you can pass somebody who wasn't nominated. I know. It was no, 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 Mr. Williams, you're yeah. not, I'm sorry, maybe you're just uh, not understanding. So there's the process, part. this is for the public as well. So anytime that we have a board or commissioner authority, the way we get a, a, an individual on there, it's a two-stage process. First, they submit a letter and a resume to the municipality. And then once that happens, they are, get, we're, council's given a list of the names of people that are interested. And then at that point, Council can choose to nominate those individuals or not nominate those individuals. Then once they're nominated, they have to be on uh, at an, until another meeting, at least one more month, but it could be down the road, and then they're appointed. What Mr. Poach was doing in an effort to try to, condemn, try to save time, which didn't really work out too well, but uh, trying to save time, he was trying to nominate the entire list in front of us, which would which did include Emily Hoffman. And so, so he made the nomination. No. He, he, he nominated the entire list, and he's within his right she, to do that. She was not on the list. I'm saying she was never nominated. No, she I'm sorry, she's on the list that we have in the in the agenda for today. So she was nominated right. uh -uh. next next month she could possibly be considered for appointment. What, what's the point in going through the process then? If it's a six ward appointment and, and it's just done without an appointment from the six ward representative. I mean, it's, well, it's just no big deal, but it's just an issue. I understand, well, I understand your concern, but the good news is that she is nominated and then she can be considered for next not. month. Well, that's correct. And I would nominate her, but I did not have that privilege, so. Well, we'll let the record show that you you uh, certainly wanted to nominate her this evening on your own, but prior to you having the ability to do that, uh, council uh, nominated her within a group with everybody else. But we'll definitely let the record show that uh, you uh, you definitely were interested in nominating her. Thank you. Very good. Okay. 